Now we come to the second example which is that of the topologist's sine curve and this is the set S which is defined as the set of points in R2 in the Euclidean plane of the form x sine 1 over x says that x lies between the uh, points 0 and 1 with 0 excluded and 1 included. So um, I claim that S is a connected subspace. S is connected. This is because uh, it is the image of a continuous map H which is defined from the connected set 0, 1 with 1 included to, um, to the Euclidean plane and this is nothing but hx is equal to x sine 1 by x as, as in the definition of this set and notice that both these functions are continuous functions so each function in the uh, in the functions in each coordinate are continuous functions and so in one of the lectures we proved that uh, when you have a map into a product space and each of these coordinate uh, maps are continuous then h is continuous so it is the uh, the s the set s is the image of a continuous map h uh, of a, a connected set 0, zero 1 so s is h of the set 0 1 so it is connected and this also implies that s closure is connected as we have seen before, closures of connected sets are connected, but the um, but the set S closure is not part connected. And so let us see a proof of this statement. So to see the proof, uh, let us see first uh, what is the set S closure. So if you have the Euclidean plane and the curve sine, uh, the graph of the function fx equals sine 1 over x looks something like this. So it has some wavy character. So first of all, let me determine what is minus 1 and what is 1. So the graph will oscillate between the um, upper horizontal line at 1 and the lower horizontal line at minus 1. So let me redraw it. So, so here you have uh, the lower one touching at minus 1 then the upper one touching at 1 but the widths between these two um, these two waves if you want they are going to be smaller and smaller as x nears 0. So the graph looks something like this. Something like this. So the width goes uh, becomes narrower and narrower. So uh, the set S closure is the set. So this is this just the set S. But the set S closure is includes all the points within the uh, set so this is 0 cross the closed interval minus 1 1 so this is um, S closure which is the union of the set 0 cross minus 1 1 with S so this is our S closure and you can easily show that any point here is a limit point of the graph so what happens if you assume that S closure is path connected? So suppose that S closure is path connected. Then uh, there is a point, uh, there is a path from any point in the vertical line 0 cross minus 1 1. So let us say take the origin itself. Um, and then uh, we can take any other point in the uh, set S. 
so our path will start here and end here so it will traverse the vertical segment at some point and then it has to jump to the part s and then it has to follow the um, curve s so the problem here is this jumping part from the vertical line 0 cross minus 1 1 to um, to the s part and this will um, be a discontinuous map in general and we will approve this again by contradiction that if you assume that this is a continuous path which connects 0 0 to some point uh, let's say x y in s then it uh, then there will be a contradiction so um, suppose that let f be our path from a b to s closure says that f a is the point 0 0 and f b is some point in s so this is a continuous path continuous and now uh, we can try to determine at which point it leaves this vertical segment and jumps to the uh, s part of the of the graph so so here is there is, there is some some supremum if if you start at 0 0 and you go along this curve let's say upwards and th so there will be a, a maximum point in a b uh, which uh, for which um, all points below that point will lie in the vertical segment and all points above that point will lie in the um, s part so <coughs> let t star be the supremum of all the points uh, t in a b such that <coughs> f of t belongs to this this set z, uh, 0 cross minus 1 1 so now <coughs> the problem is that once you try to jump to the s part because there is a lot of oscillation in the in the s part of the graph uh, that will be uh, th that will break the continuity of this path so how do you prove this mathematically we will we will show that uh, the function f will not satisfy the sequence characterization of continuous functions so we will show that f is not continuous um, under the sequence or other convergent sequence convergent sequence characterization of continuous functions so let's see how this is done so what we have now already a point t star which is the supremum of all these points and now <coughs> we will uh, take this forward so so for any t greater than t star we must have f of t must belong to s also since the set 0 cross minus 1 1 is closed so this implies that um, f inverse of this set is closed but this is nothing but the set of all t in a b says that f of t belongs to 0 cross uh, minus 1 1 and this is the set that we took the supremum over so this implies that t star belongs to um, this set t in a b says that f of t uh, belongs to 0 cross minus 1 1 so now we can try to uh, break uh, our interval a b into two parts so first part is a t star and the second part is t star to b and we will focus on this second part only so now consider 
f restricted to so let me call this a1 and this is a2 so f restricted to a2 which is from uh, t star b to the set um, to the set s closure where f uh, t star belongs to 0 cross minus 1 1 and f of t belongs to s for all t greater than t star so uh, now we are going to replace this by 0 1 so we can always do this by taking a homomorph homeomorphism take a homeomorphism 0 1 to t star b so let me call this something like h so uh, for example if you take um, 0 1 here and any point t star b here then you can simply take the straight line that joins the point t star comma 0 to uh, the point 1 comma b so 0 comma t star sorry to 1 comma b so this and this uh, uh, function is a homeomorphism so you can always have a homeomorphism between any two closed intervals of uh, the real line and now we consider the path um, f restricted to a2 composed with this homeomorphism h so we will show that this is not continuous and uh, as we said before to show that this function g which is the composition of the homeomorphism h with the restriction of f to a2 to show that this is not continuous we will use the sequ convergent sequence characterization of the continuous functions so we will show that there exists a sequence tn of um, elements in 0 1 which converges to 0 but then the uh, map gtn does not converge and this will uh, violate the continuity of g so how do you find this sequence tn so let let us take a gt to be of the form g1t and g2t so these are the coordinate functions of g now notice that um, g1 at 0 must be 0 because the path that we assumed the path f started at the point origin which has uh, the first coordinate as 0 so g1 of 0 must be 0 and uh, g1 t is greater than 0 for all t greater than 0 while g2 t is nothing but the sign of 1 over g2 t okay uh, g1 t for t greater than 0 so <coughs> now we will show that we will claim that there exists a sequence tn says that tn converges to 0 uh, but g2t is equal to minus g2tn is equal to minus 1 to the power n and uh, this uh, this sequence does not converge does not converge because uh, if you have so if you have minus 1 to the power n it just means that at uh, odd integers it is minus 1 and at even integers it is 1 so for example if you take any small neighborhood here then there will be um, infinitely many points outside this neighborhood uh, so um, this this sequence does not converge but uh, tn converges to 0 and g2t must be continuous because g is continuous and so this is a contradiction so how do you find this sequence tn is the question so uh, we we use the uh, the fact that sine is a continuous function so given n uh, choose x in uh, 0 to g1 of 1 over n says that sine of 1 over x is equal to minus 1 to the power n and this is uh, again a, a consequence of the continuity of the sine function and um, 
so we can always have this now um, with with this uh, choice of x by the again we can use the intermediate value theorem to uh, have a contradiction so by the intermediate value theorem uh, there exists a point uh, between 0 and 1 by n such that uh, g of uh, g1 of tn is equal to this point x that we have just chosen here this point x and uh, <clears throat> so now this means that g2 tn which was sine of 1 over g1 tn this is nothing but sine over 1 over x but we have chosen this to be such that it is minus 1 to the bar n and this is a contradiction this is a contradiction as g2 is continuous so we have finally a contradiction to the fact that s closure is path connected and so this means that s closure is not path connected so these proofs are not completely trivial and i encourage you to go through both the examples and learn the proofs carefully study them carefully so that you can um, conceptually understand what is going on and then try to write down the proofs yourself uh, so that uh, you are confident in that you have actually understood the proofs so we now go to some other concepts in uh, connectedness and path connectedness uh, from the next lecture